Hi guys, it's Monica. I am going to share with you a, a wig review on this beautiful, beautiful color and the style. Yes, I am in love. And I know many of you have not seen me with dark hair, but this is really awesome. So if you're curious, stay tuned. is shaded hazelnut. Shaded hazelnut is also referred to as RL829SS. Shaded hazelnut is considered a wan, sort of a medium brown, evenly blended ginger blonde and dark roots. This is Raquel Welch's Unfiltered and I'm going to do the spin for you. I love this wig. So this wig was sent to me complimentary from my lovely, lovely, lovely friend Marlene from Marlene's Wig and Chat Studio. And also for those of you that are watching me because of my beauty and anti-aging and all of that stuff, skin hair talk, um, this is from Marlene Fab and Glam. So as many of you know, Marlene and I are pretty close. And um, she had sent me four wigs for me to take a look at and to do a mini review if I wanted to. Two of them are really super dark. I'm not too sure which review is coming up first. I've already filmed it. But this one, Shaded Hazelnut in the Raquel Welch line, I have had unfiltered before in Shaded Cappuccino. Shaded Cappuccino is my favorite shade in the Raquel Welch line. But just to show you, well, I can't show you, I can only tell you, that even in the same brand and even in the same color brand of the brand there are variations so so my shaded cappuccino in my unfiltered wig was way more blonde way more blonde than any of my other shaded cappuccinos and i have shaded cappuccino i'll show you this one this is real edge shaded cappuccino You've seen this wig on me. You've seen this color on me. And this is a pretty, I like, I mean, I love the variations of the shades, but this is a sort of a, a medium brown or a light brown with lots of blonde in it. But my unfiltered in the same color all around the face was really light, light, almost platinum blonde looking. And it just didn't, it didn't look good. There was too much intense blonde around my hairline and at a quick glance it could look like I had gray patches of hair I did not like it on me at all Jay did not like it on me at all I sold it same color shade of cappuccino in my editor's pick you guys see this one on me a lot because this is one of my all-time favorites they were they're really close but my unfiltered in this shade was like night and day, completely different. So I sold it. Um, for those of you that ask, I do sell the wigs that I don't keep. I usually will post them on a Facebook group and I've had people reach out to me privately. You can certainly do that. My email information is below and if I'm not gonna keep a wig, I sell the wig. Um, th those that I can't sell, I'll donate. I have a couple of wig giveaways coming up that I'm gonna be doing on the YouTube channel. But um, this particular wig, I love this wig. This is not mine. This was gifted to me from Marlene, not gifted to me. Well, yeah, gifted to me to borrow from Marlene's Fab and Glam and uh, Marlene's Wig and Chat Studio, as I said. So Marlene said she was going to send me these wigs. I could take a look at them, and I was super excited about this color because Shaded Hazelnut is a very, in my opinion, I think Raquel Welch's browns are very, very rich. I don't know if the camera's going to pick up the difference and the variations of the colors. And the hairline is just 
exquisite. I mean, look at that hairline. It is so natural. This has a wide monofilament top, so you can have some really cool parting options if you want. And all you have to do is train the hair. It is heat friendly fibers, so you can work with this with a little bit of heat and you can train it. You can, you know, you can really do it a whole lot with heat friendly fibers. So I love this look. This is considered, unfiltered, is considered with a, a not too short, not too long lob. I don't know why they call it a lob, but I do think it's a bob with lots of different textures. I love the beachy waves. I love the style. It looks like it's a little bit shorter in the back and it does texture a little bit longer in the front, but you've got the waves. It is just really pretty. It looks good on any face shape, I think, and I really like it. Now, Jay, he's used to seeing me in the blonde. So, um, I don't think he's ready to go out with me with a darker hair like this. I think he'd much prefer I have my blonder looks, but I think this color is growing on him. I just think it's super, super pretty. I can do an ear tuck if I want. I mean, there's a whole bunch of different styling options on this. I'll do another spin. I'll show you the inside of the cap. Look at the beautiful, beautiful blend of fibers. Really pretty. I'm gonna turn this inside out so you can see the monofilament cap, the lace front, nice deep lace front. It really gives a beautiful illusion of your hairline with a nice deep lace front like this. The fibers are beautiful. You have got a felt covering on your ear and then you have the Velcro adjusters here on the side. The nape has a little bit of an extended nape. You got some Velcro here and the adjuster, the, the uh, Velcro adjuster here. A little bit of permatease, not a whole lot, just enough in my opinion to really keep its shape so that this does not just sit flat on your head. I think the volume and the density is just perfect. It's not Anyways, I just wanted to share this wig with you. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys, and thank you so much, Marlene. Love you.